and welcome to the intermediate skill spreadsheet skills tutorials now in this example we're going to learn how to set up um, a spreadsheet that looks at the test score and says pass or fail it'll also change the color of the cell depending on whether the person has passed or failed and we're going to learn how to in a separate worksheet at the bottom here put a little review sheet in that says number of passes number of fails and works out the percentage of passes that we've got um, the first thing we're going to do, rather than have standard sheets 1, 2 and 3, is just right click and rename those. So I'm going to call this one Results, and call the next one Summary. Okay, that's a bit clearer now. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is learn how to write an if function for whether our pupil has passed or failed. This test was out of 100, and just for the sake of argument, I'm going to say that any score of more than 50 is a pass. So what I'm going to do here is select this cell, and in my functions toolbar here, I can't see if there, so I'm going to go to more functions. That It might pop up in most recently used. If not, you'll have to go to all for the first time and you can see they're alphabetical so what I do is select one and then press the I key to get to the I functions ifs at the top and click OK you end up with this menu so if the first section of the menu is what are we looking for and at the moment we're looking to see if the test score is more than 50 so I'll click on the cell where I'm looking cell E2 and we want to see if it's greater than 50 Now, if it is greater than 50, I'm going to put pass in. It automatically puts speech marks in for you in, off in Excel 2007. You might have to put them in yourself if um, you're doing this in an earlier version of Excel. You'll also see it starting to construct the formula up here, the function up here. And if you were writing it in the function bar, which you can do and it'll work perfectly, you'd have to put the speech, speech marks in yourself. Um, if E2, if it looks in there and it's not greater than 50, that means the person's failed, so I'm going to put in fail. And I'll click OK. So, John Smith has failed. If I auto-fill this formula down, we can see we've got a couple of passes and a couple of fails. Have a go at writing your own if statement. 